Wait, stop! You're supposed to share with the whole class. Moby, that's not fair. Everyone is supposed to get equal parts of the sandwich. Hmm, what is a fraction? A fraction tells you the number of parts out of a whole. Not that kind of whole, Moby. Something is whole when it has all of its parts. Mmm, I love muffins. This whole muffin has two equal parts. In a fraction, the number of parts goes under a line. There are two parts. You took one part of the muffin, and that number goes on top. So this fraction shows you took one out of two parts. You can also write this as one half. What is a half? When you split something in half, you make two equal parts. Right, Moby. There are two halves in a whole. Half for you and half for me. There are two equal pieces, and we each get one piece. Hmm, sometimes I see a half moon at night. And everyone loves a half day of school. Hmm, what is a third? We can share this cake between you, me, and Grandpa. We can cut the cake into thirds. That means we divide it into three equal pieces. We each get one slice. So Grandpa gets one out of three slices. We each get one third of the whole cake. There are three of us, but only one is a robot. So one out of three of us is a robot. Hmm, what is a fourth? I love apple pie, and this pie has four equal slices. You took one slice. So you took one out of four slices, or one fourth of the slices. One fourth is also called one quarter. Exactly, Moby. There are four quarters in a dollar. So one quarter is one-fourth of a dollar. I can divide a lot of things into fourths. Like a piece of paper, a cup of water, an inch, or an hour. I think all this sugar is making us sick, Moby. We better cut up the sandwich so everyone can get an equal piece. It's okay, Moby. I've got a slice saved right here. Wait, you're supposed to give me half. Uh, I guess you can keep mine. Hi there. So you just finished your brain pop talking about dividing things into equal parts. And that's important to think about when we're learning about fractions. The parts are always equal. So whether we're talking about halves, fourths, or eighths, we're always talking about equal parts. If you have a shape that's divided into unequal parts, we don't call that halves, fourths, and eighths. So let me show you what I'm talking about on my board. So I've drawn two circles here on my board, and I'm going to divide them in different ways. So they're both divided into two parts each, but only this one is divided into equal parts. So we can say that this one is divided into halves, but this one is not. 
because its parts are not equal. So if you divided a cookie and you gave this piece to one person and this piece to the other person, they would say, that's not fair because those parts are not equal. Okay, so we do not call them halves if they're not equal. Okay, now I've divided two squares into four parts. So this square is divided into four parts and this square is divided into four parts. But only one of them is divided into four equal parts. So we can only call one of them fourths. Which one is it? Good. So this is the one that's divided into fourths or four equal parts, not this one. So if I were to shade in one part, if I were to color in one part of this square, that would be one fourth. That would be one fourth of the whole. Okay, now let's look at eighths. I have two rectangles and I've divided them both into eight parts each. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But this one is divided into equal parts and this one is not. So over here, we can say that this is divided into eighths or eight equal parts. This one is not equal, so we're gonna cross it out. So in your homework in Seesaw today, I wanna to go over your worksheet with you before you get started. On the first set, it says write how many equal parts there are in the whole. You're either gonna choose halves, fourths, or eighths to name the equal parts. And I have already made you text boxes over here so that you can click and drag to say halves, fourths, or eighths for each of these shapes. Now down here, you're going to sort the shapes. You're gonna use a red to color the shapes that show eighths and blue to color the shapes that show fourths. So you can choose any of your tools to color the red, uh, the ones that show eighths in red and the ones that show fourths in blue. Remember, we are looking for equal parts. On this page, you're going to choose the correct answer for each question. You can mark that with your pen or your pencil. And when you're done, you can click the green check. 